The official definition of big O is that f of n is O of g of n. If we can find a positive constant c, can be a number or a decimal, and a positive integer and not, such that this inequality is true. So f of n is always smaller or equal to c times g of n. So as you can see here, f of n is always smaller than c times g of n, starting from n naught and onwards. And the reason why here there is a greater than zero is because we want both of these functions to be above the horizontal axis. Proof that 2n plus 3 is o n squared. And you might say, wait a minute, we just showed that 2n plus 3 is all of n. How can it be o n squared? The answer is yes, it can be. And let me show you why. To show that this function is o n squared, we just find a function c times n squared that grows faster than our red function starting from n naught. And of course, you can pick c to be 1, because a quadratic function always grows faster than a linear function, but we want to find c using the standard way. So 2n plus 3 is less than or equal to 2n squared plus 3n squared. And this makes sense because 2n squared is larger than 2n, and 3n squared is larger than 3. So we have 2n plus 3 is less than or equal to 5 times n squared. And what is our n naught going to be? We can try when n naught is equal to 1, is this inequality true? And you will find that yes, this inequality is true when you plug n is equal to 1. Last but not least, we always write our conclusion. So by definition, or therefore, 2n plus 3 is o n squared, since 2n plus 3 is less than or equal to 5n squared, or n is greater or equal to 1.